All right, everybody, here it is. My super tiny, super cheesy uh, first timers, well, second timers, uh, gasifier uh, stove thing. Um, I built it just very much like on the uh, PDF plans available. Uh, you know, well, you know where I got it. Okay, um, so I'm going to just show you what's up with it here. It's a tuna fish can. And, um, yeah, I, I didn't really have a good cutter around, so I just drilled zillions of holes and used some snips to get that. Um, okay. And then we got this, which is the, the you know, the burning pot. There's still a pellet in there. Um, lots of holes in the bottom for ash to fall through. I, these are gas, you know, these are just all your t holes, you know, your air, your gas, all that stuff. And then it sits on top of three screws, which I didn't put through all the way because the can was too small. Um, yeah, so and then there's little holes around the bottom. So you, just, you stick that back in there, and the can is a little bit big, so I, I snipped it so it would, like, you know, fold, and, and I don't know, it worked alright for me. Probably a little bit of leakage, but I figured, okay, if there's a whole hole there, then obviously leakage is not a, that much, too much of a problem in this case. Alright, so I've got my highly dangerous oil, which I have been recommended not to use, and uh, my uh, wood pellets, and I'm going to light this thing up, and uh, I don't know, you can see how it works. Alright, so I just lit it, I'm using my fuel, dumped some of that in there, and uh, you can kind of see a little bit of flame. I don't know if you can see that. There actually is a little bit of a flame in there right now. Right now it's pretty much, you know, burning the oil, lighting up the top of these pellets here. Um, it's going to take, it, it took me like five minutes last time, but I do have a little bit of, you know, half burnt charcoal in there already, so that should uh, speed things up. But um, I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be right back when it's actually going. Okay. Uh, something that I quickly wanted to show you guys was, it's not quite going yet, but if you listen very closely, I'll get the camera in close, see if you can hear it, but... Alright, well, I don't know if you could hear it, but it's kind of a... Pop, 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 like little... Little... I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. It almost sounds like little pockets of gas are coming up and out of it, and then, like, lighting when they hit the flame. Um, before, when it was when it was uh, burning all the way, it was coming. Uh, fire was coming out of those little holes around the circumference. There. Um. Oh, it's doing it now. See, look at that weird stream, and see, it's like it's coming out of that hole right there. It's not really burning on the pellets anymore. At least it doesn't look. I mean, I could be totally wrong. I mean, I have a week of experience with this. Hey, focus. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Good shot. But, um, man, it's so bright out here and windy. Um, but at this point, it's like, it's like the, it's like the heat, it, it's coming off, it's coming off the top of it. It's not really coming down from the bottom anymore. Uh, and that, and that definitely, you know, it's kind of like, it forms like a, like a cone coming off the surface of it. I mean, I can see it a lot better than this camera can, and I don't know, uh, I hope this is what is supposed to happen. I mean, look at that. It's coming right out of those holes there. Oh, ow, okay. I'm going to wait and let this thing burn out and see if I get any uh, biochar. Right, watch this. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that, but when I stuck the match into it, it just it lit it right back up. Man, I'm going to have to majorly edit this video. All right. Oh, this is so cool. I just love it. Wow! It's so loud. Jeez, man. Oh, wow. Oh. Now, um, obviously because the flame is orange, that means there's a lot of tar and impurities and things like that in it. Um, so, I have a question, everybody. If, if it was possible to just, like, do something to the top of here so I could tube off this heat 
tube, 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 tube off the gas, run it through a tiny little like filter, run it through a tiny filter, and then uh, burn it at the end of like a torch end. How would I do that? Like, is that possible, or due to the arrangement of the of these gas holes and everything, is is that not uh, is that not feasible? I mean, should I just jump right for a scale up, or should I hang out with this thing more? Well, there you have it. Little gas stove. Well, oh, those charcoals look really hot. They're like glowing right at the bottom. It's, maybe I can zoom in. Hang on. That's nah, not very clear. Hmm. All right. Well, it looks cool, and uh, I appreciate everybody's help. And uh, okay.